So we're back in the Leighton Trophy cabin today, trying to channel a little bit of good luck from our albino whitetail. But we're not going to a whitetail map, we are headed back to Hirschfelden, trying to get revenge for our troll wild boar. So hopefully we can get something out of this lodge. I'd love to get an actual diamond boar or a rare, but there's frankly a bunch of stuff on Hirschfelden that we still need to get in the lodge. And ironically enough, the one thing we don't need from Hirschfelden is a red fox, but that's the first thing we find. And kind of an interesting loadout today, trying to take everything into account. I feel like we're probably not giving things like Canada geese and even mallards over on Leighton Lakes really enough of a shot. We usually have something like the 22, but for the most part, we're not even spotting all the ones that are around. So we've got the 22 environment for the 10 round capacity, and we have the 12 gauge, because keep in mind, pheasants are another thing that's on this map, and we do want eventually for the Leighton Trophy Cabin. And Without a shotgun, our odds of getting one are not that great. So, on top of that, we have the 7mm and, of course, the 22250, And it should make for a little bit of something different after all that time using the 44 lever action. So, this double long shot at 136 meters, 8.77 silver. Getting us started out here, I think it's around 9 a.m. So, we're going to hopefully hunt around, try to find some stuff in their feed zones, maybe pass through bison territory, because... We have a piebald female, but I'd like something a little bit better in the lodge for that. And we'll kind of go from there. And we may kind of have our choice here. Got a decent road here out there. 69 to 81. But there were a whole bunch of geese down there, including several brown hybrids. And that, man, they're literally in every field right now. Just going to spot all these as they take off. Maybe that's something to actually take advantage of when hunting in multiplayer like this. Early mornings. Apparently, in this area of Schoenfeld, they're just all over the place, and I think we kind of got a little unlucky there. Looks like these ones are taken off. These are still sitting here, though. There's literally, like, 50-plus geese around us. So, so, oh, there we go. A level 5, 9 to 10 estimate. That is huge. All right. Uh, 220 meters. Gonna do this quick, because we just saw some geese leave. And we don't have the Argus scope, so it's going to be a little awkward. I'm not used to this. I think we sneak in closer. I really don't want to let that get away. I mean, I said sneak. It kind of ran into 160. I feel like that's good enough. I just, I'm afraid of them taking off and then not being able to find them. I'm gonna let them kind of stand back up. Just so we have a little more surface here. Can I aim around the neck? That's gonna drop him. That's a guaranteed diamond. Nine to 10 with that estimate. I've never seen a goose with that estimate. He may be max scorer and it's a brown hybrid. We've been on Hirschfelden for 13 minutes. <laughs> we just dropped a huge goose. Pretty darn cool that it's the brown hybrid variation as well. 9.08, so not going to be a max score, nor is it max weight at 9.13 kilo. 9.2 kilo and 9.2 score are the maxes. Right in the neck, though. Pretty good deal. So that was something I was kind of hoping to get, honestly not even being a diamond. Maybe a, a rare goose, or even just like a big brown hybrid as a placeholder. Forget about that, we've got a diamond brown hybrid for that spot in the lodge. And now, all that talk I was mentioning, like maybe we come to multiple morning servers, check these areas. First time we really look into geese, we've got a diamond. No way. Ooh, wrong gun, okay. Uh, I'm afraid to shoot this in the air, I think we're gonna wait. We have a level 3 pheasant, and he is going to go land there, so we got to get ready for this. As soon as he goes airborne again, we're going to try to make this shot. Been tracking this guy for forever. Flew right over us. <laughs> Missed twice? Finally got him down. We blind tracked this guy, I would guess, for several kilometers. That's going to be a diamond as well. 20.78 hit him in the intestines with the 16 gauge on our third shot. Almost exactly two kilometers of tracking. This is an absurd Hirschfelden server. We will take that any day. Literally two of the things that we specifically kind of set out, you know, with keeping in mind, they could be out here and we need to add those to the lodge as well. Both birds from Hirschfelden crossed off the list. I never would have guessed that we'd have European rabbit, Canada goose, and pheasant before fallow deer. There's that other one, by the way. I think it's a molting. Pretty sure we clipped him there through the trees. Might as well take that one out. Got him down just at the very edge of the field. I have no idea what's going on, but pretty darn cool to get those crossed off the list. Little 15.07 silver there. 
two pellets hit it, and I think we're almost to Euro Bison drink time. It's 10 o'clock now, I want to say they drink 10 to 1300, so gonna give them a little bit longer to get into their zones, and what we might do is actually hunt like down towards here. And what do you know, it, on our way down here, we've got a level 7 Red Fox max weight estimate, and actually spooking some bison kind of down towards where we're moving. I'm guessing they're on their way to their drink zones, and there's a bunch down along this big lake, and then down in, I actually forget the name of this area, Tishanau, I believe? One of my favorite spots for bison, and I think we're just gonna kind of hunt in reverse to what we typically do. And we might just get a shot at this fox, we need them to slow to a trot, which he's gonna do. Is there enough of a window through here? That's gonna drop him in his tracks there with 22-250? And I didn't see any big tracks for the bison, so probably we'll just leave this herd alone. Maybe get out around them so we're not just tailing them all the way down to the river. And we'll see if we can find some actually in their drink zones instead, but lots of tracking today, and so far, paying off decently well. 12.36 on that guy, hard shot, by the way. And typically, when we find 12 scoring red foxes, particularly on Emerald Coast, it leads to diamonds, but we've already gotten two today, so maybe we just found things in reverse order. So far, plenty of level threes, and not a whole lot of anything else, but I think we will get this guy before we get kind of south of this main big lake here. Bunch of small places we definitely want to go and check out, but make use of the 7 mil a little bit. About 160 meters out. That should punch right through and find its way into a lung. It's going to go aggressive anyway, but I don't think it's going to make its way all the way over here. starting to drop now. And whether it's the water being in the way or just bison kind of acting a little bit strange when they're hit and go aggressive. He literally fell pretty much exactly where he was standing. Vital blood right there. Bison lane just beside it. A gold at 112. Right long shot even hitting the shoulder blade. What is diamond for them again? 127. Just to know kind of what we're looking at on estimates. And I suppose at this point, we'll probably go down to here first and then kind of work our way around. It is just insane how quick the time goes when we're actually hunting for bison. Felt like we've waited forever for it to be their drink time. And we've checked a bunch of spots. There hasn't been much of anything super special. And at this stage, we're pretty much at the very end of their drink time. I think that should have gotten into a lung. Usually when they go aggressive, it did. And he is starting to go down. So that'll get that guy. It's our first level four. I mean, we've been all the way along here down through all these little lakes, check this one down in here as well. Nothing really to speak of, so at least we made it something, and at least this guy's not gonna just stand there like the last one. Definitely just a weird kind of hunt today, but lucked into a little bit of right place, right time with a diamond goose and a diamond pheasant. Whether or not we get a trophy bison today really does not matter. The fact that we're adding stuff to that lodge is really, really cool. So it is 1300. Bison are pretty much done drinking. We'll stop by here just in case. And I guess, I mean, roe deer start to drink. We could try that. We've just had better luck running through fields and actually not hunting near water for once. And at our last stop, we've got the best bison we've seen, 117 to 128 level 4. Standing there pretty broadside, so I think we'll probably try to go for this from here. See if we can get him down. Should be good enough to drop him. And I think that's going to transition us into maybe some roadie hunting. I'm not so sure we shouldn't just continue what we've been up to. Because it's worked way better that way than actively hunting drink zones. A little bit dangerous to get in here and claim this. I think we're going to auto run through it. 118 scorer, left long shot again. I think we'll just kind of work our way out of here. And we do have a little time until roadie start to drink. Their drink zones start at 1400. So maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll start to wander off into the forest, and if we get into something good, we might not worry about Rodier. So naturally, we'd end up losing connection to that server after all that time. We're an hour and a half into this, and we were in that server for pretty much the entirety of it. So I don't know why we randomly lost connection, but glad that we were able to stay connected and get quite a number of good kills, and obviously our two diamonds, from that server before we ended up disconnecting. So into another server, ironically, pretty much the exact same time. And we're just gonna go with the flow and see where it leads us. And just a little bonus red deer on our way, 167 scoring silver. 
Still a little early for Rodier drink time. Kind of moving through Jonsdorf right now just to do something a little bit different. And I mean, obviously there's stuff around, so maybe we can luck into something again. So perhaps Rodier it is. We're into their drink time. And I figure we might as well at least give it a shot. Especially given the fact that we're not stumbling into any more diamond birds. So little potential gold there. I think it's fairly potential gold. And he was kind of weird shape, so that may cost him. But it's some of the same areas that we were looking for. Bison down here in Tishanel, hitting this lake, these two for sure. And we'll kind of see where we go from there. But decent little buck to say the least. And unless we maybe spook them, none down that side, which at least has a bunch of bison drink zones. Let's see what this guy ends up being. He has a 3x3 three three barely. Gonna be a silver at 55. Gold is 64. So we had a slight chance, but not a great chance at it. And I think we're going to go ahead and scoot up north here. That's, I would say, a better lake typically. Hopefully there'll be something waiting for us. Well, unfortunately, not much going on for targeting Rodier either. Definitely have better luck at the beginning of the hunt just running around in the fields and stuff. But towards the end of the hunt here, not much there and not much on the Rodier front. I think that is going to end up being our last kill. I definitely want to take our Diamond Goose and Diamond Pheasant back to the lodge, though. Maybe if that Rodier was decent. He is a max estimate, but really low score. Might try to get him. I just don't see a very good angle to do that. And they do run surprisingly far. There's maybe a little hope that punched into a lung. My guess would be intestines or body hit, but I suppose we'll track that one down, too. And unfortunately, I think, ended up with two more silver road here. This one, a silver because that's all he was, 56 score. The other would have been a gold, but I'm pretty sure we didn't get a vital. And probably a good thing we hit it twice. It definitely was not going to go down quickly. Shot was about where we wanted it, just maybe a touch further back. It ends up hitting the corner of the lung. Second shot, really had no chance. 72 scores, so kind of towards the upper end of that estimate, but big road here or not, we did add two new diamonds to the Leighton Trophy Cabin Lodge today, and two that I think could have been a real problem. We've been quite lucky in the diamonds that we have found out here on Hirschfeld, and definitely the case today. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know where in here pheasants go, never mind. Right across from our troll wild boar, funny enough, we get like a decent post that we can see from downstairs, because we can't rotate it but we can turn might just do the flying pose right there and then our goose is going to go right up in this area weirdly enough kind of this part of the lodge where we've got our diamond turkey now diamond goose pheasant is starting to fill up some of the best the red fox is back there as well gonna need to get a coyote eventually but pretty darn cool diamond brown hybrid goose which frankly is about as rare as a diamond common but they look a little cooler diamond pheasant Still need to get a diamond boar instead of the troll. And am I crazy, or are we only missing Rodier and Faladir outside of maybe upgrading the Euro Bison? I never would have guessed that we'd be way further along with Hirschfeld and then Leighton. But that is the case right now. This lodge is slowly filling up. I like it. Definitely got to put in some emphasis with Black Bear. They've been one that we haven't shot very many of at all on Leighton. Outside of that, a couple of things that need upgraded, a couple of things that we need to maybe try for a little harder. I think Fallow and Rodier both, if we actively hunt those, shouldn't be that bad. And that lodge could be looking pretty darn good, but super pleased with those two. Like I said, ones that I thought could be a real challenge, especially Pheasant. Got them back to back today and adding more and more to this incredible looking lodge. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.